Coming up next, we have Jack Lowe, Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa. In his uh, Tattoos of the Week from July until September of 2022. What's up, you crazy tattoo-getting people? It's Jack at Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a tattoo for you to peruse. It's a sleeve. I just finished it uh, the other day. Been started the upper part uh, maybe a year or so ago, I think. And uh, just did it as a half sleeve up top. And then she came in and wanted to do the lower part to make it a full sleeve. So, um, yeah, really pretty. I thought it came out really nice. Uh, Hanya mask on the inside with the geisha girl on the out on the upper arm. And then got like the pagoda looking deal down at the bottom. Um, got the uh, cherry blossoms kind of sprinkled all in there to kind of pull that through the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I thought it came together really nice. Looks really good on it. Uh, really good on her. She wears it very nice. Just straight up black and gray. Um, as far as total time, man, she could tell you better than me. Probably, there's probably 20, probably 25 or so maybe hours in it. Um, but yeah, uh, you see what you get? Don't think I'm leaving anything out. Um, so if you like it. Let me know. If you don't, just keep it to yourself because nobody needs your fucking negativity, okay? So seriously, it's enough, all right? Everybody's in the same boat. Stop crying. Anyway, uh, until next week, be good. <coughs> don't choke on your breakfast burrito and call your mama. See ya. Hey, tattoo creeps. It's Jack at Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a tattoo I've been working on that I thought you might want to take a peek at. Uh, it's a lot of fun, some free handy, uh, fun, flowy kind of, uh, I don't know what you'd call it really. It's not tribal, it's not Polynesian, it's not, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just fun. Kind of some fun designs that, uh, are flowing down, uh, Jessie's arm. She's our front gal here, so if you've, uh, interacted with the shop, I'm sure you've, uh, interacted with her. So we did, a uh, her dog portrait on her upper arm a year or so ago and we're just kind of adding on to that to make it a full sleeve i think it's coming along really really neat having a lot of fun with it she actually sat amazing uh she she typically doesn't sit very good at all she sits like a big pussy <laughs> big pussy but this time she did great so I took advantage of it, and I kept going until she told me to stop. Uh, and this is as far as we got. So uh, I'm really liking it. I, it's having a lot of fun with it. What you're seeing there is mostly done. There's a little tucking in here and there to do, but and it'll eventually be uh, covering her whole arm. But um, I'm really liking how this one's coming out. It's a little bit different than my normal fare, so I thought it'd be interesting to, to look at for you guys. Um, just black and gray, I think. That piece uh, under the portrait, we've probably worked on it for four or five hours, I think, one night. So it uh, went, really, went really well. It's coming along good, and uh, I hope you liked looking at it. And um, come and see us, and we can do something neat like this. Not exactly like this, because what would be the point? It's already been done. Anyway, uh, I hope you like looking at it. I had fun doing it, and um, come in and let us do something on you as well. All right, well, stay cool. Call that mom of yours. She misses you, and we'll see you next week. You crazy SOBs. I see you out there with your little mini bag of Doritos and your, and your, your Pepsi One and your feet up with the left socks got the hole in it and your toe. I... Thank you for, thank you for watching. No matter what your socks, how many holes they have. Anyway, I did a tattoo. It's got some color in it, so that's always fun. And uh, it's a bug. It's a tarantula crawling on a creepy kid's creepy shoulder with some creepy leaves. Uh, it's probably 98% done. It's going to be part of a, a, a larger sleeve. Uh, the the kid that's getting it is uh, into bugs professionally. He uh, works here somewhere in Des Moines tending to said bugs and tarantulas and all kinds of creepy crawlies. So uh, this was the beginning of it, and I thought it turned out pretty darn neat. Uh, I hope you like it. I worked on it. I did uh, one sitting, and it was five hours. It was one to six. So, uh, yeah, it went really nice. He sat really good. Guy's first tattoo. So, um, yeah, everything good, all good things. You get on around circular circle. All right, next week. Same place, same time, 
come and see me. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, tattoo fans. It's Jack once again with a tattoo I did for you to check out. This one's actually on my son, Sebastian. It was his birthday, so what does every dad tattoo guy do for his son on his uh, 29th birthday? You give him a tattoo. So yeah, he's, uh, he's a grease monkey. He likes working on the cars, making things go fast. Uh, so he came up with this idea. It uh, kind of incorporates Fury Road, the Mad Max movie. Has a little call out to that up top with the logo. And then uh, the old school V8 logo underneath that. And some pistons for flavor. Kind of wrapped some uh, signature little smoky flamey stuff through it to give it a little movement and kind of help separate things. And I think it came out pretty darn good. There's still maybe a little tucking in here and there after it heals that I want to do to really finish it off. But I was excited for you guys to see it. So I thought, hey, just show it to him. So I did. All right. Uh, <laughs> and that was a lightning strike off my phone. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed looking at it. It took about five or so hours, I think. Um, yeah, one shot, one kill, and, um, so far his arm hasn't fallen off, so good stuff. Anyway, I hope you liked looking at it, and make sure to come back next week so you can see what else we got for you. Have a great one, and we'll see you next time. Hello, tattoo fans. It's Jack at Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a picture of a tattoo that I did. Uh, this one's on a, on a fella. He's getting a bunch of Americana type of stuff. Americana stuff? Yeah. United States stuff. Uh, he's got the bell, Liberty Bell on there, and the uh, the eagle and the flags and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, we did Lady Liberty. She's having a bad day. So she needs, uh, I don't know, a lot of you people don't remember, but back when I was younger, uh, Statue of Liberty was looking pretty rough. And uh, since, you know, the United States is nice enough not to take any tax money or anything from the people... You know, to fix things like that, you know, uh, they asked the people for the money and did this big fundraising thing, you know, because government really has no way to make money for itself at all. It's just, it's sad, really. So, us, the hardworking uh, citizens, uh, we made a bunch of money and then we gave it to them so they could polish her right up. Well, this was before all that, I guess, because she's looking pretty, uh, pretty awful, needs a little help again. So if you could dig deep in your pockets. Just kidding. Anyway, black and gray uh, took probably five hours or something like that. Five or six. Um, we just kind of tucked it into that little spot right there below the eagle. And I uh, thought it fit in there pretty good. Lots of fun to do. Just kind of adding little cracks and fissures and making her look like she uh, had a rough day. But uh, I hope you like looking at it. And if you don't, then shut up about it and just go do something else. You know, you don't got to go tell all your friends how much I suck. You know, just, just keep it to yourself and, uh, and, all, and I'm working on it. You're always riding me. All right. Next one will be better, I swear. You guys have a good week and we uh, we'll see you next time. Hello, it's Jack Lowe once again from Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a tattoo for you to peruse. It's a pirate. She's, she's probably a pretty nice pirate. She seems nice. Looks like she works out. She's in good shape. She probably runs a pretty tight ship. Has good meals and everything. You know, again, she just, her skin looks healthy. You know, she looks good. She looks, she just looks like she's in a good spot, you know, which is very important for a pirate. Anyway, uh, she's got a sword and a bomb, so she might be having a bad day. Today might not be the day to come up and to introduce yourself. You know, those pirates can be a little testy about their booty. Anyway, uh, one sitting uh, is what you see. It's going to be part of a greater ensemble of uh, pirate goodness, so stay tuned. But I thought this was fun to look at and thought you might think so too. And if you don't. Well, there's always next video. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Enjoy what's left of your summer. Get out your sweaters because you know it's coming before you know it. I am the bearer of great news. All right, you crazy kids. We'll see you in a week and call your mama. Bye. Hello, tattoo world. It's Jack at Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a tattoo I did for you to look at. It is from a movie. If you're probably under 25... You probably have never seen it, but it's a good one. It's got Bruce Willis in it. And he's he's a good actor and uh, Mila Jovovich, 
Is that her name? Jabovovich? Anyway, uh, it's from The Fifth Element, and uh, Mila Jabovovich uh, is pointing a pistol at you. It's Don't worry, it is a play pistol, so no, no, uh, don't call 911. It's, it's, a, it's completely fake, and it's 2D, so it can't actually be loaded. So it's, it's safe, it's fine, he's good in school zones and all that, we checked. So anyway, two sittings, got a lot of it done on the first one. The second one, we added the taxi kind of swooping around the back, and I didn't really get a good, clear picture of that, and that's kind of my favorite part of the whole thing. That teaches me. But anyway, black and gray, um, probably all together, what do we do? I think he sat like a full day first time, and maybe three hours, second, seven days, around ten hours, I guess. And um, yeah, really neat guy. He came from out of town. He likes to collect from a bunch of different people, and I was lucky enough to be one of those people. So, yeah, I hope you liked dig, uh, checking it out, and I uh, hope you dug it. And if you did, uh, tell your friends, if you have any friends. They're so hard, aren't they? They're always needy and wanting things, and especially when they move. But anyway, I hope you have a great weekend, everyone out there. Stay cool, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hello, tattoo fans and tattoo world. It's Jack Lowe with Skin Kitchen Tattoo once again for a tattoo for you to look at. You can't have it. It's already stuck into somebody else. And he seems to really like it, and he's not going to give it up. Give him a couple years, you know, kind of get some scratches and dents on it, you know, see something else sparkly. That's when you hit him, not now. Anyways, it's a dead dead Indian guy, I guess. doesn't have to be an Indian, I suppose. It could be anyone who just came across the headdress, but then that'd be, you know, cultural appropriation, and that's not allowed. So let's just say it's an Indian skull. Yeah. So calm down. It is an Indian wearing the headdress. It's black and gray. I spent all day on it. So, uh, yeah, about seven hours, uh, one day, one sitter quitter. And uh, there's going to be part of a uh, sleeve. Uh, we've got a female Indian uh, with some wolves and some, I think, a bear. So it's going to be a whole bunch of good stuff going on in there. But we got this done to start it all off. And I thought it came out pretty darn fancy. And I thought you might think so. And then if you did, you'd think I was cool and probably want a tattoo from me. And then I then I can stay in business longer. That's kind of the idea of this whole thing, if you haven't caught on. But anyway, I hope you dig it. Um, guy took it really well last hour or so. Got a little sore, but he soldiered through, and we got her done. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed looking at it. I enjoyed doing it. And uh, I'd like to do you a tattoo. What? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, you guys. We really appreciate it. And we will see you next week. Hello, Tattoo Creeps. It's Jack once again from Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a tattoo for you to peruse. It's uh, some nautical stuff. Been pretty popular the last couple years. Uh, people out there wandering around. <coughs> Want to bring a little bit of, uh, you know, you got to have rope. Got to get your stinking rope. And, uh, you know, compass is good north although it is it's changing on us it's flipping it's crazy did you know that the earth poles they flip from time to time yeah it's complete cataclysm so that'll be fun that'll be exciting but anyways uh we got a map there there's florida kind of showing that was uh, important for the the wearer to have in there he wanted his map uh he also has the uh i think i might have used it it's uh, the female pirate holding the bomb and the sword have i I use it? Yeah. So this is uh, the opposite side of his leg for that. Uh, and we're working our way on up, doing a big ship and all kinds of fun stuff. But I thought you'd uh, kind of dig this one because I thought it turned out kind of nice. He liked it. So I thought you guys would probably like it. You're all human beings too. So anyway, uh, Black and Gray did it in one sitting. It was about a full day. So yeah, about seven hours. So we knocked this one out. And um, it should stick pretty good. Yeah, it should stick. If it washes off, I'll just do it again. It happens from time to time. It doesn't. It was a joke. Anyways, you guys, a uh, nice hot day out there. Go get a sunburn. It could be the last one of the year. And, uh, I don't know, eat a Twinkie. You know, those will make you slowly into cockroaches. And so then you won't have to worry about the cataclysm because they'll live through anything. Twinkies equal cockroaches? I'll get back to you on that. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great weekend. And we will see you next week. Hello. It's Jack Lowe, Skin Kitchen Tattoo, and I did a tattoo, took some pictures, here it is. 
It's a Jeebus and a uh, clock behind there. Yeah, with, uh, I don't know what that would be, uh, some sort of key around the top of it. Um, I don't know. That's what the client wanted, so that's what the client friggin' got. Uh, anyway, black and gray, it probably took do, 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 a little over five hours, close to probably six or so hours. Um, no color whatsoever. He uh, brought me in some material to some reference stuff, and we kind of uh, crammed it together, so to speak. So yeah, it came out really nice. The guy sat like a champ and uh, just pretty much a one-sitter quitter that turned out kind of purdy I thought you'd like to look at. Uh, if you liked it, tell everyone you know and they will love you more for it. And so will we. All right, you crazy kids. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's installment and we will see you next week for the next one. See you later. Hello, Tattoo Kids and Kitties out there in Tattoo Kitty and kitty land i'll work on it anyway uh it's time for a tattoo for you uh this one is a musician his name is rob and he makes movies about scary stuff and he's needs to wash his hair more often he's got it's terrible it's matted someone should tell him but you know He's famous, so uh, you don't want to piss him off and then not be his friend and not be friends with the famous guy, so he just walks around with terrible hair. Uh, Rob Zombie Portrait, it's off of an album cover. I can't remember which album, uh, but yeah, it's kind of this stylized looking uh, look that I mimicked on the tattoo. So anyway, yeah, one sitter quitter. I think it took us about five hours or so, give or take. Uh, we threw in kind of some bluey, greeny goodness in the background there, and that came off of another album. Uh, kind of the background colors off of that. So anyway, a uh, big Rob Zombie fan, and uh, I thought it turned out fun, and he really dug it. So I thought you might dug it as well. I hope you did. And uh, if you didn't, well, just keep that to yourself. All right? We're trying here. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun watching this week's installment, and uh, come back for the next one, because it'll be, it'll be even better, and, and I'll be topless. Maybe. All right, you guys, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Hello, tattoo fans. It's Jack Lowe at Skin Kitchen Tattoo with a tattoo for you to check out. This is actually a sleeve I just finished the other day. I think you've seen peaks of it in uh, previous weeks, but here it is, and it's finished glory. Um, I should have done a little math before uh, we did this, and I could have told you... Let me uh, do some quick math. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, five, thirty. Uh, probably around 35 hours or so on that one, uh, roughly. So, yeah, I thought it turned out really nice. We kind of collabed on everything. He would kind of throw me a rough idea, and I'd pitch back some ideas, and we'd come to a final idea. And then we do it. So yeah, came out nice, uh, flowed real good, all black and gray in there. And um, yeah, what you see is what you get. I hope you dig it. It was super fun for me to do. And if you want to get one, call us. We do that all the time. It's like practically every day. So yeah, we're, we're you guys. All right, you crazy kids. Have a great week and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye. Hello, you creepy tattoo fanatics out there. It's Jack at Skin Kitchen Tattoo once again with a tattoo that I did and then took a picture of it. It is, uh, I think it's Zeus. I think that's who it is. Um, uh, his lightning shooting out of the eyes and that godly beard kind of gives it away. But uh, anyway, it was kind of fill in a little goofy spot that uh, he had on his lower forearm. And then he had, it's kind of just finishing off his sleeve, actually. Um took the lightning kind of up through some of the other tattoos he had to kind of pull everything together and uh, I think it's coming along pretty well. There is a little bit of finishing work to do on him uh, at this point, but I'd say he's 90% uh, there. So I thought you might like dig it, uh, like looking at it because you would dig it. I kind of sounded like a Yeti or a, uh, what was that? Um, who's that furry guy? Chewbacca? That's the one. Sound like Chewbacca just then. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was about five hours, four or five hours on that one. Uh, sat great, went good, and uh, that's about all there is to say about that. If you want an old guy with lightning shooting out of his face, you know where to go. 
All right, you guys, we'll have a great weekend, and we will talk to you on the next one. If you'd like to see more of these Tattoos of the Week, check out our weekly uh, studio updates. They come out every Friday and feature all three artists, Tattoo of the Week. Uh, if you'd like to get tattooed by Jack, go ahead and start that process of setting up an appointment by sending us an email at shop at skinkitchen.com or give us a call at 515-255-4430. Till next time, here's hoping all your tattoos heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I'm sure Jack would love to see if your tattooing needs in the future.